Yeah, it was cute, man. Sweet moment. I think we kept it a secret for like five five days, four well, days. I did it Saturday 30th and it's now the fourth. So yeah, yeah about five yeah. days. But it was yeah. funny because you've been playing pro clubs up the up the turfs and girths, something like that. Girth and turf. Girf and turf. On three. So girth and turf. Three, two, one. Girth and, and turf. turf. Yeah. Bosh. So I have this thing when Ethan wants me to do something, um, he says, please. And I say, please, what? And then he goes, pretty princess of the world. Because why not? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> so I went, please, what? And he was like, pretty fiance of the world. And I was like, really? On pro club? I completely forgot. I completely <laughs> I was forgot like, because I started streaming it. I was basically. like, there's no way you've just dropped a little tease on yeah. pro club. The first couple of nights I weren't streaming, but now I've streamed it. And yeah. I had a, but no one clocked on. I said, yeah. oh, do you mind making me a Pepsi Max? And then, yeah, please, pretty fiance. And I went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, but, but at, at that point, like, again, because it got really hard, like, me posting, yeah. uh, like, TikTok, so Instagram, keep having to take the ring off, and I did not want to lose it. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, I've just had my ring on, and then a few, like, it was a good 50-50 split, mm. like, those who noticed and those who did it. And, yeah. But they was like, is that, like, a rock I see on your finger? Bro, it's rocking. Bro, it's so rocking. So, we just thought we'd just... Yeah. Them, cause um, people are so busy, they, they want to know what we're up to anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it's been really lovely. It's been sweet. It's been lovely. Do you feel warm and fuzzy? Of course. I told you that as well. Like yeah. the first time you was calling me fiance, I was like, wow. <laughs> this is <laughs> amazing. This is what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We've done it. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we've actually like, again, because we've had so many people that are so nice. Yeah. But then we've also, this is why I wanted to keep it private for at least like mm. the time that we did. Because even Proddy was like, oh, are we going to renounce it mm. like before your episode or not? And then I was like, hmm, I don't know because I don't want to let people's negativity yeah, come yeah. in because we had such a good bubble of like feeling loved, everyone around yeah, us yeah. felt loved, like it was such a great experience. And then obviously you go online, like you kind of can tell yeah, not yeah. everyone's going to love this situation. But I just feel like, We've had our bubble, which was nice. We could celebrate it. Mm -hmm. But then the people who have given hate, I really feel like they don't understand our relationship. I just, I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. There, there's, <laughs> I don't get why people care so much. But the thing is that it's all the comments, I didn't see one bad one about you. All the comments were at me like, oh, we could do better. She could get be pretty or whatever and I'm like whenever I would get it if I ever claimed to be like a model or mm. like well I've never ever claimed to be like a yeah. person that is supposed to be pretty like it was literally just a person just a right? person and I'm still not claiming like <laughs> oh I'm the prettiest girl in the world like literally never done that so I don't know why all the accusations yeah. say that and then obviously oh she's an L things like that because of the podcast so thanks Thanks, Prodford. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Prodford's been thrown on the bus. <laughs> it's not your fault, Prodford. But there are people that don't even watch the podcast. It's yeah. just the clips. And some clips, I have to say, bravo, some are very well done. Like, as to the moments where they're clipped at. Yeah, it's very easy with podcasts to take clips out of context. It's very and also, easy. We are and we've very, grown since then as well. We're, we're very polarising, I think, in the aspect of... We're unfiltered and we don't really give a fuck how like we just say shit at each other here and don't really care what it what's gonna happen to. but then we get the ump that people are upset so it yeah. doesn't it, it, it on both sides it I, I can i can get why it happens yeah if you know what i mean because we sit here and don't give a fuck yeah but then when it is clipped out, out of context we're like fuck's sake but you're not getting the context yeah, yeah, yeah. or like you don't get the fact that it's a joke she, yeah and also I feel like to, to clarify right we are a very fucking lovely family right yeah. we we love our little girl we are great with her especially Faith Faith does so much of the fucking backpacking for this family uh, when I'm working or doing whatever I do uh, I get to do loads of cool shit I get to play football and do whatever else look she's gonna cry bless her she, I, I'm gonna cry as well but she does so so much for the family yeah so when people are this horrible to her it fucks me off and I, i've said that to you before haven't i when you attack her it fucks me off and fucks olive off all right <laughs> and olive's upset with you but yeah she backpacks for this family so give her a clap <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> i'm the girl <laughs> i'm the girl all right fucking wow, up the girl yeah, out the girth, man. But yeah, listen, she's she's amazing. So 
listen, you nasty bastards, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, as well, like, people underestimate how much communication we actually have. Like, we've got four horses, and then people go, yeah, but you don't have to have the horses. Four horses. Like, but we do. Four horses, <laughs> three dogs, a fucking daughter, three brothers, and a mum and dad. <laughs> like, mum mom, mom and dad, whatever. There's so much going like, on. There's so much going on there's for us. So much going on. Man. Like, hardly ever home. Like, to build a relationship built off of someone who's like, obviously, his job is his job. That's not a problem. Yeah. Like, that's why we make everything work. But, like, for to make a family work as well as we do for someone who's like yeah. here, there, everywhere, like can only see them certain times, whatever. And then we've got three dogs to look after. We've got the whole series, like we've got dogs to pull. There's a lot like, of priorities. Such, That's the issue. Is like, is there's, there's like so much outside compared to what I would. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start comparing us to other online couples or whatever. No. But the fact we are online is obviously that opens us up to judgment anyway. But compared to a lot of social media couples that you may see or whatever. And again, this isn't me putting us on a fucking pedestal, but they might, one of them might stream, one of them might record videos, one of them, might, but there's not, that you might, yeah, they could, they still socialize and stuff. Yeah. Like, like, we are looking after a daughter, going to work. It is work at the yeah, end yeah, of the yeah, day. I work. know it's fun work, but it is work. We're going to work. We're looking after our daughter. We're looking after the house. We're looking after the family. And then on top of that, again, you want to see your family and, and the do thing whatever. Is, like, I don't even ask for a life outside of being a mum either. No. Like, the last time I went out was what the Sidemen anniversary evening, party. Yeah, yeah. And then I think the last time I went out before that was. The side for an anniversary party before yeah. that as well. Like I didn't even ask my own individual life. That's why no. right. like I give everything just to our yeah. family. No, exactly, and that's what I mean. You backpack for us very hard, and right. yeah, I, I feel like uh, again, people see scratch surface stuff when you come on here, and we talk about fucking whatever's going on in the world, and then have an opinion on it or whatever. We we just, you barely scratch the surface. Like we could sit here, and I could every week go fucking thank you for this week. You've been amazing, darling. Whatever, mm -hmm. but. At the end of the day, people are here to watch us fucking have a little bit of fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're here and for. You know, but the thing is, the arguments that you see on the podcast, that is literally it. Yeah. Like, there's no arguments It's so at trivial. Home or it's about like, it's about a fucking bit of clothing on the stairs or like, yeah. Which, by the way, it's very fucking bog standard things that happen when you start living yeah. with each other. Yeah. Like <laughs> I've heard from couples that some horrible stuff that goes yeah. down. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, but for us, again, I think. Me not being articulate, and I am obviously not overly educated. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. I've always struggled with it. How to translate my point across mm. softly. Yeah. I'm not good at that. It's not no. the fact that I don't want to do it softly. It's more, I've said it before I've even yeah. thought about it. Uh, and then, it's just and the then I go, are, oh, that could have sounded nicer. Yeah. You are also quite unapologetic. Like, you, you just say what you think and... And you're but well, so many strong no, no, people were like know, that. But you're well within your right to say what you think. But again, because you are so unapologetic with it, I think people are like, well, well, well I've got the armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and it's because yeah. I'm a woman. <laughs> if Andrew Tate <laughs> says what he wants, bro. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, I love you very much. So, Thank you. and listen here, if you even claim to fucking like me or whatever, just stop fucking quoting me with horrible shit directed at my fucking family. Yeah. You awful fucking bunders, all right? Fuck off. Yes, my man, my man, my man. All right.